Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a review and comparison um, for the Jedi Starfighter and Vulture Droid set, which is 7256, released in 2005. It retailed for $20 and now is about worth, uh, well used, $29. We're going to be comparing this set to the newer um, Jedi Anakin Starfighter. This is not the very newest one. I believe this one came out in 2013 or 2014, so... So as you can tell, um, this one, I, I only have the manual for, unfortunately, but this is it right there. Um, the, it is relatively small, but for 202 pieces, I think it actually makes, uh, you get a, a lot for the value um, on this, in my opinion. You get a vulture droid, which that sticker looked like it was peeling, uh, which is pretty cool. They haven't included a vulture droid in, in the Jedi Starfighter, the newer ones ever uh, since this release. So pretty cool that you do get that. Stickers, lots of stickers. Um, and then you can, you can uh, make this one move. It does have some articulation as well. Uh, and then you can close up the wings. Uh, something as simple as just totally removing the little, the little fins and sticking them closer together to put them in like a flight mode versus attack mode. Nowadays, I think they'd probably have some sort of system that would prevent you from having to totally remove the fins. Um, you'll have some little rockets up at the front, and I honestly think that this holds up pretty well even today. I still like it quite a bit. Um, the rotation on it is really good to get it to stand up or to be in flight mode, and then you could open the fins for attack mode. Um, they also rotate this way and this way, so you could have a little bit of fun flying this thing around. Um, it is decently sturdy, uh, and I really like the colors. I like the sand blue, the, the navy, and then the gray that goes with it. So pretty cool uh, extra build that you get. The main thing you're probably going to be picking up the set for, you know, at the time that you picked it up or rebuying it is going to be for the Starfighter itself, uh, which looks pretty good. I, again, I, I think that this does pretty well. The wings are a little bit flat and two-dimensional, uh, but I think they did great with the, the amount of pieces. Um, you do get just an R2-D2 dome here. You don't get the full figure, um, the symbol for the Republic, and then on the inside, of course, you do get Anakin Skywalker. He is the single minifigure that comes in this set, and he has a little, uh, what's it called? Little flight walkie-talkie. Cannot think of the name. Headset, um, and really cool. I really, really wanted this Anakin when I was a little kid, so it's funny that I have him now, but I just Oh my gosh, I loved him so much when he first came out. Um, I had a friend at church who had this kit, uh, had this uh, Anakin, and he'd bring it to uh, Wednesday nights, and I would like watch him and uh, the another boy play with their Star Wars Legos, and I was always really, really jealous. So it's fun to finally have this guy. Pretty simple though, as you can tell, it didn't have any double-sided uh, head printing or anything. But uh, the inside of the cockpit is decent. You have a little control panel, uh, and then a little flight yoke, which is nice, and a chair. You could probably put the lightsaber in the back right here. There's a little bit of room, kind of like a trunk. The whole thing opens up, so it is a rather bulky uh, hood, but you still have this clear visor, which they've used in multiple sets since. And this is one large printed piece, which is really nice. You could lift up the wings on each side. They have stickering on the insides as well as this uh, sticker is there, so pretty good. There's quite a few stickers, but it adds a lot of detail. There's some stickers up here that are placed super well. I got this set secondhand, so I was not the one to originally apply the stickers. And then it has some really wonky landing gear. So landing gears at the bottom here, and it's mega awkward in my opinion. It just, if you could see it, it's just really tall, um, but it does work. I just prefer to, to display them with the landing gear closed because I don't like it very much. Um, but it does fold up nice and neat like that. And then we're directly comparing that to the a newer Starfighter, which is quite a bit bigger. Uh, this one has a larger piece count uh, with just the ship alone. So um, you'll have to take that into account here. Uh, but you can tell they kept the design pretty much the same and just changed some stuff. They made it bigger. They gave it some more detail. They made the blasters a little bit more accurate. Uh, smaller symbol on this one, as you can tell. Uh, the cockpit is still relatively the same. They gave it an update, like a refresh, but it's still one large printed piece. Uh, you get a full-size R2-D2 minifigure in here, which is pretty cool. Um, this one, in terms of landing gear, does not have any. It's just built in. It's these sections right here that act as landing gear, um, as well as the seat for R2. Directly comparing the minifigures, obviously, the updated one is going to be much better in terms of detail. But it's still really nice. They kept it pretty much the same. They just updated it, really, so... Uh, I do like that. This Anakin should have a double-sided head. Yeah, he's got a concentrated face. Really cool, nonetheless. 
So 2005 to, I believe, 2013. Um, and then on the interior of the cockpit, you can tell is actually quite a bit different. This is one stickered piece. I actually like the old school version more. I think there's more going on. Um, but I do like that you could put the lightsaber right here. You could display that there if you needed to keep it safe. Uh, but I do, I do prefer the older cockpit personally. I think it looks better. Uh, but both close the same way. Both have a little bit of wing articulation. This one's not quite as sturdy, the older version, obviously, for, you know, many given reasons. But pretty neat. I think that really still the old one holds up pretty well. It is just a little bit smaller in terms of actual size. Uh, but they've kept a lot of the same techniques uh, with both ships. So I really appreciate it. This one's a little bit of a darker gray. Though, well, this one's a little bit of a lighter gray. Uh, but other than that, the color choice is still still the same. So I really do like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below of these sets. Mostly we were taking a look at this one. And I think it's a really good value. Um, but ultimately the opinion is up to you. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.